All right, CEOs, let's talk about your job and what you need to do here for this project. Now, the first thing that it says on here is that you need to lead your company and be involved in each group member's part to ensure that your business is 100% cohesive. In other words, you need to make sure that your um, competition analyst, your head of marketing, and also your account are all on the same page with certain things because there are certain aspects of your business that everybody needs to understand. First off, you need to understand who your clientele is. You need to understand the target audience. Who are you targeting with this? Because if you're off with that, that's going to affect... Um, well, let's put it this way. You need to be on, on track with that and on the same page because you need to make sure your pricing reflects who that is. You need to make sure your advertising reflects that. You need to also make sure that you're not spending too much money producing your good if it's a good of, um, of value instead of, qual of quality. So make sure that everybody's on the same page with some of those big, big issues. Other things that you need to do. Set up this wiki page, which I'll be showing you in class how to do. I want you to have a paragraph business introduction on the introduction page. You can put it on the CEO page. I'll explain to you what uh, this means later on, and I might change the wording on here. Nonetheless, I basically want you to organize and um, basically explain what is your business going to be so that somebody comes to your site, they say, okay, here's exactly what they do. Next, you need to create an inspiration web of company. Um, the inspiration web I've included on here, and I'll show you an example in a minute. Here's what you have to do for that. Inspiration looks like this little... Uh, box here with a star. If you can't find it there, go up to the magnifying glass and just put in inspiration. Now, it's going to give you these options here of different things. What I'm going to suggest that you create is for is a diagram, and your diagram will look something like this. You can type in your business, so I'm just going to put in pizza shop. Um, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, then you can do that. We can highlight everything in here. I'm going to push Command A so that selects all. And then down at the bottom of the screen, which you can't see because of the uh, menu here, I'll try to scroll it up. Yeah, hold on one second. There we go. You can see these choices here. If you make it 24, it's going to make it so that your box actually or your circle there gets a little bit bigger. Next, you want to, and I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm not going to be using this at all. You want to create a new box off of here. So we're gonna click on the pizza shop and say, okay, I want to put a new little web here that goes up into the left. There we go. Now you have a new one. You might put for this, and I'll move it up here into the middle. You might say target audience. It might also be called market audience. Either way, it's fine with me. Now, you might say, okay, my target audience is going to be adults um, from 25 to 55. We're just creating random numbers here. Then from here, you want to keep spreading this out and say another aspect of it. Okay, now how are we going to target them? How are we going to actually use them? You could say commercials on TV using humor. There we go. So that's how you're going to target them. You can go to another group. Then you're going to have to do this for every single aspect. So right here, this is kind of like your, your head of marketing. They're looking at their target audience. How are they going to sell it to them? Then you're going to have to also do this for your, let's say, your competition. You're looking at your competition. You could say, okay, our direct competition is going to be, and then we'll add another box off here. You could say our direct competition is Pizza Hut. And let's talk about Pizza Hut a little bit. They are major food chain, or let's not even do that, let's say they're a good of um, quality and value. And we can be Pizza Hut because, and let's make that a little bit, let's say we have a greater variety of non-pizza items. And that's how you plan to effectively do better than pizza. So that's some thoughts there. Um, in the end, you'll have something that's a lot more well put together. This is what I created for a business plan. You can change the tech, or I'm sorry, the fonts on here if you would like, um, and colors. The way that I change the colors, in case you have an interest, you highlight one or all. And by the way, you can highlight a whole bunch if you would like at one time. So I'm highlighting all those. I'm going to go down here and choose this little box here, and I'll say, okay, let's make it this pink color, or more like magenta. There we go, you've changed it. Um, what I'm looking for you guys to do, though, is to complete this. Now, when you're done and you're ready to put this onto your web page, what you're going to need to do is take a screenshot of this. There's a really, really simple way to do this using a Mac computer. If you hold in Command, Shift, and 4, you now notice that I have the little crosshairs up here. What you then will do is you can take a picture of whatever you want. Now, if I were to just do this, it takes a picture just of that. Now, what I really want you to do is make this take up is take a picture of your entire um, web that you have here and that'll be something that you can actually include on your website as a picture file so here we go and that's something that I'll show you in a little bit different location 
So in a nutshell, CEOs, that's your job for now. I'll have another video later on if we're going to do an infomercial as well. Okay?